today. Right, today's got a lesson on the old three-string cigar box guitar. It's something that's done by the Rolling Stones, and this is called Painted Black. Um, it's got a nice, it's, 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 it's a basically, um, it's in E minor and G, uh, B, B7, and the main two chords, and then it, um, for the first two lines of the verse, then it goes into quite a few chords. So there's quite a few chord changes. Um, so it's not an easy one for the um, one finger guys, unfortunately. Um, it might be a bit too much moving up and down the neck because there's quite a lot of chord changes. Um, there's a great riff in this. Um, and if you've got a loop station, um, it, it loops around the, the E minor and the B7. And the, the riff is, um, which is so, so, it's, you know, everyone knows it is. That's the riff. And it just hovers around these chords. So it, the, the main bit is that bit, and then when it comes to the... a little riff um, but I'll show you the riff but the main thing is um I'll go through the chord for you and the verse it's the same all the way through um, so there's nothing um, sort of any sort of mid lates or anything as I say it starts in the E minor so I'll run through a verse and then you can get to see how it goes and so it starts in the E minor the B step. see quite a few chord changes when it goes to that bit I see the girls go by in their summer clothes it's E minor D G D E minor and then the next line is E minor G D so G E minor A B and then you're back to the so it's quite a lot of chord changes um, so it's a bit of a tricky one but you know you've got to try these tricky ones every now and again got to try these tricky ones every now and again so as I say the first chord is E minor which is top fret four string Second fret, middle string, bottom string open. B minor, uh, sorry, B7 is top string, fourth fret, middle string, fourth fret, bottom string, second fret. Great, lovely chord there. Now when I sort of play it, I sort of do a bit of shuffling, you know, a bit of, a bit of muting. Or, A little bit of muting, a little bit of shuffling with the up and down strokes, and then when the 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 next line comes in, it's E minor, which is obviously four top, second, middle, open, bottom, bottom, D, which is top second, bottom second, middle string open, G all open, back to the D top, bottom top, sorry second top, second bottom, middle open. That's the E minor. Then it's E minor again, the D, the G, the D, then it's A, all strings, second fret, to the B, all strings on the fourth fret. So it's So 
B7, E minor, B7, then it's E minor, D, G, D, E minor, then it's E minor, D, G, D, A, B. So there's a lot of, chop, lot of chopping changes there. Um, so it's quite, you know. It's... So it's it's going to be a little tricky one for you. Um, it's one of those ones that's, yeah, if you've been playing a little while, you'll probably get the gist of it. If you're a real beginner, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a twister for you. Um, to try and play it um, with all open strings, um, you'd be down here with your D, down the seventh fret, um, obviously your A there, which is really the only, uh, the G's open, your B, you could play a B, and you could play this the E, if you want to do the E7, you'd have to put your pinky down on the, down on the 12th fret. Um, yeah, it's it's wouldn't be easy. Just do one thing. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be probably a lot of jumping around trying to do it with one finger. So if you can do the chords, it's made it sort of more aimed at people that can actually play a little bit of chord work. Um, what I do is I come to a little close up on this so you can see the actual chord sequences um, and then we can take it from there. So here we are at a close up. Um, as I say, the, the first chord is the E minor. So your fourth top, second, middle, bottom one open. And the B7 is second bottom and fourth top, fourth middle. E minor to the B7. And that is where the intro is. So that intro is doing that. That intro goes around these, these chords. That's where the intro comes in. That's where you do the intro. <coughs> right, so the, the verse is, I see a red door and I, B7, red and painted black, back to the E minor, no colours anymore, B7, I want them to turn black. Now it goes, I, C minor, C the girls, D, and the D is second top, second bottom, middle string open, G is open, all strings open, back to the D, second top, second middle, uh, second bottom, middle open, the next time round is E minor, to the D, to the G, back to the D, but this time you go to the A, which is all strings, second fret, and then B, which is all strings, fourth fret you're back to it. the way the structure of it goes a little bit complicated but practice makes perfect don't forget now the so that the, the little intro bit um, which you can do over those um, is this so what is this all on the middle string I mean this is a simple way of doing it all on the middle string so it's second fret 4th fret, 5th, 7th, back down to the 4th, 5th rather, and then twice now, so 
So second, fourth, fifth, seventh, fifth, fourth, second, second. So you do that twice. First, second, fourth, second, first. So that would be on you, that's when you beat. And this would be your E. B. So it's a nice little riff as well. And if you've got a loop station or a loop pedal, you can start off with that. You can start off with that, it's quite nice, you know. Um, so yeah, there's the structure of it, it's quite simple. Um, but apart from these quick chord changes, so as you can see, it's better if you can actually play a few chords. I mean, the chords are quite simple, it's only really the D, which you've got to do. I see the E minor and the B7 and the D, the rest are open and one finger anyhow. So if you can actually manage to do those chords, it will make the, sound, the song sound really, really great. Um, okay, I'm going to sit back down again. So there we go. So um, it's one of those great songs, you know, for the Rolling Stones. Um, and if you wanted to, um, if you can, um, if you have got a loop station, then all well and good, you can sort of uh, have a go. If you've got a loop station, of course your mind, yeah, your world's your oyster, you can solo, you can do all sorts of things. So yeah, so Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones. Cracking little number. Persevere with doing them changes. It's a lot of changes, but Persevere with it. Cracking song. There's about, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, about six of them verses. And at the very end, it's just a... Just, all you're doing is just looping round the E minor and the B7 and then just fading out. So, play your black, Rolling Stones. Don't forget if you want the chord sheets, um, and the chord sheets this song with chord sheets, um, send me a link to the, or send me an email to the link below. I will send them over as a PDF if you want the, the chord sheets to this one um, or any of the other ones on my, my channel. Uh, just let me know. And I'll forward them on to you. Okay, Mark LeBone, see you again soon. Bye for now. Ciao.